This is a legacy episode of the Lesbian Historic Motif podcast, originally released as part of the Lesbian Talk Show podcast group. Some references may be obsolete. The show looks at lesbian-relevant themes in history and literature, has interviews and discussions about current historical fiction with queer female characters, including fantastic versions of the past, and presents new original historical fiction for your enjoyment. Last week, we had Kate Hartfield on the show to talk about her own writing. In this show, she's here to talk about books that she's particularly enjoyed that have queer female characters in historic settings. Welcome back, Kate. Hi. So what books would you like to tell our listeners about? Well, I've got an old book and a new book uh, in mind. So the new book, well, it's not that new, it's a couple of years old now, is Ever Fair by Nisi Shaw, uh, which is an alternate historical book about the Belgian Congo. And uh, it's got a sort of a steampunk aesthetic. There are uh, strange flying machines and, and prosthetic devices. And it also is a very hopeful look at what might have happened differently uh, in the history of that, uh, that horrible time in the 19th century. Uh-huh. Uh, with the Belgian Congo. And it features a wonderful uh, relationship between two women, Daisy and Lisette, who are just enchanting. And throughout the whole book, they, they're, they're constantly being separated and um, having to deal with the patriarchy and toxicity and, and racism all around them. Uh, but they keep coming back to each other as a sort of harbor. Uh, and the way they speak to each other is just wonderful. Uh, and I really enjoyed that relationship. Yeah, I love that book. And there's at least one other FF relationship in the, the the less central characters, I think. That's right. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's your second book? All right, my second book is, is a classic and probably one that will be familiar to many listeners. Uh, but I thought I'd mention it because it was so formative to me, which is Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Uh-huh. And so it's a very... Shall we say it's an, an imperfect book uh, in a lot of ways, especially <laughs> to, a, <laughs> to a reader, uh, you know, in 2020, it's not, you know, it, there's a lot to grapple with in the book and a lot to criticize in the book. But it was definitely formative for me coming up as a writer, the idea of what does it mean to be a woman in history and to be a queer woman in history, which is central to that book. And um how how does a woman live in this world and, and look at the past and create a new future? And I think those are always the questions that I'm still grappling with as a writer today. Uh, so I, I can see the influence there. And I feel like a lot of my books are in conversation with Orlando in some way. And plus, Virginia Woolf's writing is just so beautiful on a sentence level. Um, so it is one of the books that I return to every few years. And every time I do, I find that, oh, yes, there, there are parts of it that don't hold up <laughs> the way they used to. But it is something that will always be on my shelf for sure. Fabulous. I, I confess I've never read it, but though I did see the, the wonderful adaptation for the screen, which I, I have no idea how faithful it is to the book. Yeah, I thought it was quite faithful. And I thought Tilda Swinton did an excellent job portraying that character. And it is, it's a beautiful, strange book. And it's so, it's so wonderful the way that Orlando's long life and, and change of gender is is not explained and is not even shown to be something that needs explaining. We have a character who lives for a long time and is sometimes a woman and sometimes a man and deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which, which was great. It was really eye-opening for me as a young person to to read that and to think about the possibilities that it opened up. Well, thank you for sharing some of your favorite books with us and I will put links to those books in the show notes. Thank you again for being on the show. Thank you. It was lots of fun. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Lesbian Historic Motif podcast. See the show notes for links to people and topics. Most shows will have a transcript linked as well. If you have a book announcement, a topic suggestion, or might like to appear on the show, please drop me an email. If you enjoyed this podcast, please rate it and subscribe on your favorite podcast app, and consider supporting our Patreon. 